In this week's message, you'll learn how to use the liberating power of play to transform a situation that feels hard or unfulfilling. You'll also discover why playfulness is so important to your well-being. It's not just for the little ones. Play as a way of being and doing is also for the wise and wonderful adults who are ready to experience more of what they really want in life and in their work and businesses. So why is play so powerful? Because you can't have a happy ending at the end of a journey that's harder than you want it to be. How you feel along the way is the way you're going to continue to experience your life until you do something about the way that you are feeling. Happy journey, happy endings. Hi, my name is Alari Anawa. I've been a life on purpose coach since 2003, and I'm also the author of Just Believe, how faith in yourself shifts everything. (laughs) Welcome to this week's message for living your version of awesome. Welcome to the power of play. Did you know that there are over 60 definitions for the word play in online dictionaries? The word play can be used as a noun, as in something that you'd watch on a stage, and you can also use play as a verb, as a description for how you are doing something. We can play to win, we can play for something, and we can also play to play just for the joy of experiencing play. <laughs> play is the way and the way that I'm using it here is a way of being and doing that is best described as being lighthearted and having fun. I'm going to invite you to close your eyes for a few moments if you can and play along with me. Do you remember what it was like to play during summer breaks as a child? Did you spend your summer hours out in the sun with friends? Did you get lost in your vivid imagination or in a favorite book? Did you stare up at the clouds and wonder what you would be doing when you grew up? I know I did. Did you organize your neighborhood friends in a game of adventure or pretend to be a daring superhero? What was your favorite form of play? What does playfulness feel like for you? Here are some feelings I get when I ask that question. Playfulness feels like cheerfulness. It feels light and when I'm playful, It feels that anything is possible. Playfulness for me feels expansive and happy and it feels like being engaged and deeply connected to whatever I'm doing at the moment. It feels like doing something I genuinely want to do. And for me, being playful feels like a smile and laughter. It's liberating and it feels great. It feels like thriving. By the way, these are highly supportive and uplifting ways of doing life that help us improve the quality of our lives and the outcomes we produce. What playfulness doesn't feel like is heaviness or being over-responsible, overworked, or overcommitted. What playfulness doesn't feel like is seriousness, stress, or worry, or feeling drained or frustrated because something didn't turn out the way that you initially expected it to. And playfulness certainly doesn't feel like having to control all the details of a project or experience that you're in the process of creating. Some people create a dividing line too between work and play. I used to do that too, but in doing that, we drastically reduce our ability to experience joy in our chosen professions. And some people play only to win or for the desired end result or destination. And so they tie their happiness to a specific outcome and can enjoy the journey. Playfulness as a way of being and doing is liberating and powerful. Here's more about that. 
Cultivating play brings forth expansiveness, new possibilities, and creativity in a way that seriousness or worry cannot do. Playfulness helps us connect to the deeper and wiser aspects of ourselves so we can make better decisions and have more fun. Being playful liberates us from the weight and seriousness that we so often take on as we navigate adulthood. <laughs> fun is a necessary ingredient for happiness and who doesn't want to be happy, right? And when you are playful, you are also attracting more joyful experiences into your life. So life just keeps getting better and better. Whether you are being playful as you are communicating with your family, interacting with friends, growing your business, solving a problem, doing the dishes, or even if you're reevaluating what you want to do with the rest of your life, when you are doing so from a place of lightness and positive possibility, you will always produce a better outcome. If we're not having fun, then we are feeding or cultivating something else that's far less fulfilling. Whether it's fun or hard, that's a choice. And if something is feeling hard or frustrating, then we are definitely not cultivating play. Life's magic, the juiciness, the joy, and thriving is found in how we are playing or showing up in the sandbox of time and space. Life is meant to be fun, so we don't have to relegate play to just one small portion of our precious lives or bind play and celebration to an end result or the outcome of a project or goal. We can have fun now and now and now. Do you have an area in your life that could benefit from more playfulness? What if you played simply for the joy of playing because you can? What would open up for you? Would you enjoy your life more? Could you thrive in a faster or more fulfilling way? Would you feel more engaged or more creative or more connected to your soul truth? Today, I am going to invite you to see if anything in your life feels hard, stressful, or too serious. Maybe there's an area where you're not getting the results that you'd like, or you're feeling frustrated, overworked, or overwhelmed. If so, amp up the power of play in that area. Here's a quick and powerful exercise to help you boost your energy, creativity, and get more of the results you want through the power of, you guessed it, play. <laughs> Here's how this works. Choose an area of your life that could benefit from lighter and happier, from a lighter and happier approach. Take out a journal or a notebook and answer these questions slowly and playfully, of course. You are doing so with the energy of positive possibilities. Remember, when I asked you earlier what it felt like to play as a child on summer vacation or what playfulness personally feels like to you. Now imagine that you are feeling that right now. Number one, what does playfulness feel like? As you write down your answers, let yourself feel lighter. You're lining up with something that feels better or more uplifting. Number two, now think of an area or situation that currently feels hard in some way. As you bring that feeling of playfulness to that area, imagine the best journey that you can. You are having so much fun in that area. You're feeling amazing. Now, what becomes possible? What else? Is there anything else that opens up in that area as your feeling of joy and playfulness expands, keep writing whatever occurs for you as a result of being lighter and more energetic. What becomes possible from that vantage point? 
continue writing until you feel complete with your answers and then move on to the next part of this process. Number three, circle the possibilities that have the most energy around them. As you look at what you circled, those are what you most want to experience. Ask yourself, what's preventing me from having that now? Write any unwanted or limiting perspectives or habits on a separate piece of paper and move to step four. Now decide, will I let an unwanted habit perspective, or condition destroy or limit my happiness. If you are ready to release what's not supporting you, fold up that piece of paper and with a feeling of completion and resolve, tear that paper into tiny pieces. Tell yourself that you are done with that unwanted perspective and mean it. You are letting it go. It doesn't serve you as that is not what you are committed to anymore. This is not what you want to cultivate. Feel it complete. And then number five, now take those new powerful and playful possibilities and nurture them, cultivate them, allow them to grow. Smile as you imagine being lighter and happier in that area that you're in the process of transforming. Smile as you see things flowing in a more fulfilling way. Now, play a game of as if. On the top of a new page, write down the most amazing things are happening now and create in your imagination and in your writing what you most want to feel and experience it as if it's already done. Imagine that you're writing a letter to your dearest, most supportive friend. Be playful and have fun with this and write your letter as you want that situation to be right now and going forward. What you're doing is very powerful and transformative. You are cultivating what you want and you are also letting yourself play. You are feeding fulfillment and opening yourself up to more of life's goodness. Remember, what you focus on expands. So cultivate play and positive possibilities and you will have more and more of that with each passing day. If you've discovered something powerful today, share this video message with others. And if you don't already subscribe to my weekly messages for more of life's magic and awesomeness, you can do that here on this link on my website. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.